Well, isn't it wonderful? I can take care of all the arrangements for your mother's party right here on the laptop. And I can still go with you to Bermuda to, to see the honeymoon resort. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I love you so much. Teresa, you shouldn't have come. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm just gonna get off the plane. I just I thought you wanted me to go with you, that's all. Look, Teresa, wait. Look, it's just... It would be such a waste of time. Why? Well, we'll be on the plane more than on the ground. I mean, once we get to Bermuda, I figure it'll take about half an hour to check out the resort, and then we'll be heading back to Harmony. Oh. Well, it's just that I, I know you're very busy, and I hate imposing on you this way. But you're not imposing, Ethan. Not at all. I, I want to go. Well, did Pilar give her permission? I mean, after all, we are going out of the country. My mother understands that I have to do what I have to do, and she knows how important this job is to me. I know, but it's very important. And, and like you said, we're only going to be gone for the day, right? And then we're going to be home before mealtime, right? Well, we should be. I mean, if we don't have any problems with the weather. Do you think we'll have bad weather? You never know. I am not worried. You know, I really want to go with you, and I think we'll have fun. And like I said, I can take care of all your, of your mother's work and help you at the same time. All right, if you really want to go. I do. We're ready for takeoff, Mr. Crane. Thank you. Teresa, are you all right? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just a little nervous. Have you ever flown before? No, this is my first time on an airplane. And I don't know what to expect. Oh. Well, look, don't worry. I'll talk you through it. It's a piece of cake. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Okay, good. Now, right now, we're heading down the runway. What's happening? It's okay. We're just picking up speed so the plane can get off the ground. I didn't think it would be like this. It's a strange sensation the first time. But, you know, you're safer here than you are in a car on the throughway. Absolutely. It's okay. We're almost there. There. We're in the air. You feel the difference? Oh, yeah. It's much smoother. <laughs> now, the plane's going to be retracting its landing gear, and there's going to be a little bump. There's nothing to worry about. We're going to keep climbing until we reach our cruising altitude, and we'll stay there until we're ready to land in Bermuda. Well, that wasn't that bad. I told you it wouldn't be. Thanks for helping me through my first time, Ethan. You're welcome. Do you realize how many firsts you've helped me through? I mean, my first ballet, my first limo ride, my first society party. First airplane trip. Because of you. And Gwen. Yes, of, of course, Gwen. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna check with the pilot, see how long it takes to get to Bermuda.
Teresa, being here in this tropical paradise has made me realize that my heart was right all alone. I love you. You are the only woman in the world for me. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me, Teresa? Oh, yes, Ethan. I love you so much. I'm sorry, Teresa. I didn't mean to startle you. That's okay. I was calling your name, but you didn't hear me. You, a million miles away. I was daydreaming, I guess. Well, we're about to land. Will you be all right? I wonder if you wouldn't mind talking me through the landing like you did before when we took off. Sure, no problem. But I have to warn you, landings are a bit bumpier than uh, takeoffs. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just so anxious to get to Bermuda and, and see what's waiting for us there.